Hey guys, Jay here. Today I'm going to do a review on the Weatherby SA08 semi-automatic shotgun. It's been a great gun. I've had it for a number of years. I've put thousands of rounds through it. There has not been a lot of changes in this model since I bought it till now, so this review is current or worthwhile. Um, I'll give you my thoughts and impressions and some tips of what I've done to make sure it's continually functioning at its peak performance. And I'm telling you, I've had it for so long. I've hunted geese, turkey, ducks. I absolutely love this gun. Let's get at it. Okay guys, so this is it. Uh, probably the first impressions anybody will have uh, off handling one of these SA-08s is how light it is. Everyone who's ever handled it has commented about how light the gun is and uh, that's really good. You can carry it all day. It's less than seven pounds and I know there's an adage or a, a thought that if it's a heavier gun, if there's less felt recoil. But because this is gas operated and the bolts uses part of the gas to cycle or chamber the next round, it minimizes what you're feeling on the back end here on your shoulder. It's actually a very comfortable shooting shotgun. Um, it comes with a choke case. I put the tape on just so I don't lose it. And it comes with a choke wrench for all um, Weatherby shotguns. And uh, it comes with three chokes, uh, full, modified, and improved along with shims for uh, left, right, upper and lower comb adjustments. I use the loop myself. This is uh, for muzzle loading. I also use it for all my chokes. As you can see, there's rust on this one. Um, you wanna get that choke out to change out to a new one. It won't seize if you put something like this onto the threads before installing it onto the firearm. Another thing I've done is uh, I've actually put inside the case a legend for the chokes. Uh, Weatherby and other gun manufacturers are now using notches uh, to indicate what type of choke. Not all of them will label it. So if you can see one notch is full, three notches is modified, four notches is improved cylinder. Uh, hopefully you guys find this helpful. Um, if you ever forget or don't remember, this is handy. It also comes with two pistons and that, that's how your shotgun cycles the next round. It comes with a, a light and a heavy piston. So this here's the light. And I wasn't kidding when I said I was a long time user of this. Uh, you can see these. These are definitely seen some serious use. Okay, so this is the heavy. Now a big thing, especially on light loads, is there is a little ring here. And this little ring will get gas and carbon and powder build up in here. You need to clean that. If it's clean and you can spin it with one finger, it allows gas to get under it to allow it to move up and down and cycle the next round. That's um, a big deal. If your gun is cycling or having cycling issues even after cleaning it, this is a good place to start if it's you not being able to cycle with light loads. Okay, so we're going to set the target. I got the range finder. We'll set up a board, do some pattern shooting, and uh, have some fun. Okay, so the wind's picked up a little bit, but I got the board set up. I mean, uh, I think this is probably going to be realistic considering uh, you never get perfect conditions when you're hunting. I also, what I used is, for range is uh, the Bushnell here. It's a Bushnell Prime um, range finder. And uh, it's awesome. I paid 125 bucks for it. It's digital. And um, honestly, it works great. And I didn't pay a lot for it. There's better out there, but I use the Bushnell Prime. And I'm quite happy with it. So we'll grab uh, some shells and we'll pattern out on the board. We'll have some fun doing it. Okay, so I'm gonna put the chokes in. So just so you know, I'm gonna show you this. Right here, do you see those little notches? That's how you're supposed to be able to know what kind of choke you're using. These little notches right here. And over time, so here's the modified one. Over time, it starts to get worn out, as you can see there. But you can see those notches. So this here, because it's my modified, choke it's got a lot more wear and tear on there but there's the notches like I was showing on the legend earlier just uh, food for thought so because I've already got the lube on the end of the choke here and these these uh, they, they go flush the choke so um, they're not hard to put in but I can't stress enough to make sure you're using a lubricant on the threads just so that uh, when it comes time to change out that choke, you're able to get the choke out. Um, so again, I'm using the SA08 12 gauge. 
So there's the key. It's really quite nice that it comes with it. Aftermarket chokes, um, I've got a few, I've tried a few. Just hand tighten guys. Do you see the notches? I don't know if you can see them or not. And can you see that? There's no bead, just a little black bulb. Okay, so we'll put the piston in now. Okay, so there's lots to be said about putting in the pistons and everything else, so bolt open and held, chamber's empty. Um, you can have in your heavy piston for heavy loads and put a light load in. Uh, it will shoot, but I'm pretty sure it won't cycle. I, I don't know if you put in a, a heavy load with a light piston if it will cycle I can't remember um, but you do run the risk of possibly damaging your your firearm so uh, it's not worth being careless use the right piston for the right load there you go barrel back in. Just realized I'm cutting my head off in the video. But it's really easy to change out. Really easy. Your forestock will only go on one way and you want to make sure that it, the lips fit right in here. Right? I'm doing all this for the camera. It actually, I probably look real graceful, don't I? And again, you just hand tighten this. Okay, so pistons in, arms not loaded. Close the breech. Now we'll get some shells and have some fun. Okay, so I'll start out with some two and three quarter. Um, I guess I'll use Winchesters first. Uh, these are two shot, two and three quarter. And uh, this is a typical round I would use for duck hunting. I prefer three inch, but uh, two and three quarter work just fine. Uh, putting in three rounds. Now we'll try it down range at the board. So, gun's loaded, take the safety off, and we'll try shot down range. Let's go check it out. Wow. Clearly I missed, pulled it to the left. But I do have a couple of wings, so that would have been a crippled shot. Let's do a few more, shall we? Okay, let's just try that again. There we go. Much better. And that's the point of shooting before the season starts, guys. Less than a thousand, thousand hours before the season starts and second shot, Definitely a kill shot. Originally we had what, one or two? From the first shot, and now the second shot. Definitely a kill pattern. Okay, so I've just reloaded. Um, I've now got full rounds in here. So there's three, like I, in a hunting situation. You can see by the second shot I took, these are Winchester X. So they're, they're not low end, they're more of an Econo brand. They're certainly not high end. You can always get more expensive shells. Um, but as you can see, the number two shot, two and three quarter, Winchester X, still patterned very well. Definitely a kill shot. So I've put uh, three rounds into this gun like I was hunting with it, like I will be hunting with it. And I'm just gonna fire off three rounds and show you how comfortable of a gun this is to shoot.
So all three rounds are fired, chamber's open. Let's go check the board. So yep, yeah, that's a total of five shells into the board here. Um, all right, so what I'll do now is we'll throw up a fresh board. We'll move on to a three inch and a different brand out of the same gun with a modified choke. Okay, so I was shooting these wing chesters. Okay, two and three quarter, 1550 velocity, uh, one and 16th ounce number two shot. And you saw how they fared on the, on the board. Uh, I typically hunt with these simply because I have a lot of them and they're readily available here in Manitoba. And they were, I got them on a really good deal. Um, but these here are three inch, 1550 FPS, and they're one and one eighth ounce charge number two shot. But these are a three inch shell. And uh, I use these for geese and, and uh, duck. They're awesome. So now we'll throw them down range and get an idea of how well they pattern. Okay, so we'll throw in the three inch. I've never had a problem with these scores. In fact, they've been awesome. I know other guys complain about them, but I have no problem with the score. All right, so fresh board. That's one shot. I was almost gonna squeeze off a few more. All right, let's go down and take a look. So I was a little off to the right this time. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, a little bit off, but um, definitely two in the wing, one in the body and one in the tail. But this is why we do this before the season starts. So uh, there's four, four holes and one in the beak. So five holes in total. Let's go again. Okay, so it's a little to the right this time. It was the left last time on the different shell. I think it's because I'm doing it in front of the camera. It's making me nervous. All right, let's go take a look. Okay, well, you can see where uh, you can see how I compensated, and now there's more over to the left, but I'm shooting low. So, uh, okay. Now I got a few more in. Two there. One there. Yeah. Well, that's the point of doing this. So, oh, headshot. That's the point of doing this. Do it now before the season starts, right, guys? Okay, so I'm going to move on now to uh, another part of the review, and that's just uh, I, I think I might set up the thrower and shoot some clays with some light loads, have some fun with it. Okay, so I've got the light piston in now, swapped it out, and I'm going to be using Challenger here. There's, uh, these are seven and a half target loads, 28 grams. And uh, they cycle through the gun awesome. And uh, I'll just throw some clays by myself and uh, have some fun. Okay, so I still have some of these left over. I did a video review on them. Uh, flash clays. So I'll throw this in the thrower and just get at it. Okay, so got the flash clay in. Doing this all one-handed. Not sure if I should have my trigger hand down on the on the string or the foregrip. Here we go. I'm not sure if that turned up on video or not. I'm thinking not, but I smacked it. Yeah, I'm only using two shells here. Got one in the chamber. All right. Let's try this again. One in the well, I hit it the first time. I took a corner off, but completely missed on the second. But as you can see, it cycles well, right? Like I say, I've had this gun for a very long time. No issues with it at all. Throw another clay in there. Yup, we'll do a double. Okay, 
again, doing this all one-handed. Dusted it, one shot. I don't know if that got on video. Okay. Let's go again. Well, I definitely hit it the first time. Oh, I don't know if I got that on camera. I definitely hit it the first one. Just took a piece of it off. But as you can see, once you're done, your, your action stays open. Close it, that little button there. Okay, one-handed, again. Hopefully I'm not in the way of the camera. Safety off. Boom. Got them both. Man, I'm telling you, the Weatherby SOA, SA-08, um, been a great gun to me. Uh, I know it's a turret gun, a lot of guys down it, but you know what? You can spend a lot of money on a gun or you can get one that you like, right? Either way, it's, it's to each their own, but uh, this gun has been fantastic. I'll do another double. I can't stress the importance of getting out and practicing before the season. It's more fun to miss on clays than missing on birds, right? Okay, so do it again. It's a double, be my last round. One handed. Safety off. Pull. Got them both. Weatherby SA08, long time user and uh, only one problem the whole time I had it, and that's because it was dirty and I took it in the rain. Maybe a point to mention is uh, your action is very smooth, right? But if it starts feeling tough and gummy, it means it's dirty, you need to clean it. You can over clean it, you can under clean it. What I do is I clean it at the start of the season and I roll with it until I start getting that tough action and then I'll do a breakdown and clean it. Otherwise, it's superficial cleaning. I always wipe off the barrel with a, an oiled rag and uh, I'll clean out the, the action and if the barrel's got any kind of debris and I'll make sure it's free of that. The only time I do a full breakdown is at the start of the season and uh, when it starts getting gummed up on me. So pretty simple rule of thumb. I've had this gun for a few years now, more than five, and it, it's been awesome. So totally worth the uh, $600 I spent on it. Okay, let's have some more fun. Okay, so now I've got a few water jugs set up. As you can see, a lot of other guys use the same spot. And uh, it's unfortunate, you can see all the holes that are left there. So I'm gonna pick up a lot of them because I pick up mine, I'll pick up theirs. That's how you lose privileges if you don't. But leave it better than you found it, guys. Okay, so let's have some fun with this jug, shall we? I've, all, I've got the plug in so I don't forget to have it when I'm actually out hunting. So I've only got three shells in here, but let's have some fun anyway, shall we? A lot of fun, a lot of fun. Ah, oh, that one's still got some water in it. Now, if those were hunting loads, it'd be a bigger burst, a bigger splash, but uh, still fun. And honestly, this gun is very easy to shoot. Very light shooting, very forgiving on the recoil, and the gun itself, like I say, six and a half pounds. That's very light. Okay. Okay, guys, so in closing comments of this review, um, I think I'm giving you a very fair review on this shotgun, the Weatherby SA08 Synthetic semi-automatic shotgun is awesome. I am a long time user of this gun. I've had it for a number of years now. I am not joking when I say I've put thousands of rounds through it and it still continues to perform flawlessly. Um, again, it comes with 
a choke case with three chokes. It comes with a full choke, modified and improved cylinder, as well as a wrench for your chokes and shims for uh, comb adjustments and the manual. If there is a flaw or a drawback on this firearm is the manual that I received is not the greatest. Uh, I'm sure you'll see that in other uh, reviews of this gun, but uh, it's a very popular gun and if you have questions or you're stuck, a quick search on the internet and you should be able to find the answers. Or if you're um, a subscriber or anybody who's looked at any of my other videos, you'll see that I treat the comment section like a forum and I really do enjoy the dialogue. So if you've got a question or you're stuck, feel free to message me or put it in the comments. But uh, like I say, this gun has been fantastic. The bluing on it, after a number of years, numerous hunts through marsh, wetland, you know, you name it, it's been through it. And tons of different people have tried this gun and fired it, so lots of different handlers. And look how good the bluing is. I'm telling you, it's a great gun. I don't regret the purchase. I have no problem recommending it to somebody if you're looking for a semi-automatic shotgun. Yes, it's a Turkish gun, but it's a great gun. Okay, so hopefully I've answered all your questions. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please put them in the comments below. Please like, please subscribe, and thanks for watching.